It was a chorus of I don't recall from the former special advisor to Malusi Kikaba. Siabonga Matlangu has been grilled on the alleged pressure he put on senior Transnet officials to reinstate fired former Transnet executive Siabonga Gama in February 2011. Matlangu was Kikaba's special advisor at the time and Kikaba was public enterprises minister. Previous witnesses have implicated Matlangu in carrying out the directives of number one. Here's Michael Apple with the details. Please raise your right hand and say, so help. Today was all about, how did the chair put it? This kind of mysterious reinstatement of Mr. Gama. When pressed for answers, Sia Bonga Mahlangu had one go-to expression. I don't know. I don't recall it being that crisp. I cannot recall that Mr. Konazi said that to me. I can't take it further than I cannot recall the chairperson. Chair, I, I, I cannot dispute it because right. I, I cannot recall it. There's memory lapses there. I, I don't know. Despite his fuzzy memory, the former special advisor is a poet and he didn't even know it. There was a lot of trauma yeah. surrounding Mr. Gum. That there was. Transnet's former head of legal, Siabulela Mapoma, testified Mahlangu called him saying, number one, wanted Gama back, and quickly. I have never said to Mapoma, as he, as he alleges, number one, wanted to get it done quickly. Problem is, there are a couple of emails from his private address which paint a slightly different picture. Your evidence now before the commission is, yes, he had the two emails. But I have no independent recollection of writing those emails, of sending those emails, or of the content of the email. That, that is correct. What do these emails to his boss, Malusi Gigaba, say? You had had a series of discussions with Mr. Mkwanazi. You had reported on those discussions to your boss. And in fact, you had given your boss advice in relation to them. Is that correct? That is correct. And in fact, you had, you say you remember none of this, but in relation to the Gama settlement, you had actually advised uh, Minister Gigaba that he should socialize the president, correct? Not on the details, but on, the pro on Transnet's proposed cost of action. But he also advised that the president's formal and informal aides be briefed on the Gama matter. It begs the question. Who would have the president's informal aides have included? That would have been some of the senior political leaders that were closer to the president. Like who did you have in mind? I have to think back. Speaking of thinking back, Mahlangu is yet to testify about his Gupta connections and a little trip he undertook to India, along with Duduzane Zuma and Ace Mahushule's son, Tsipiso. You were invited by Ranesh Gupta to attend a wedding of one of his family members and that he paid for you. But more on that in the future. Michael Apple, Johannesburg.